Hi, Plymouth Elementary middle schoolers. Um, I am here making this video for you because I have all of these books in my apartment and um, I need them to go home with you. Um, and as mm -hmm. much as I would love to keep them for myself um, to read them all, I really think that they would find a better home in your home. Um, these books came from a project that I started this summer um, and it's called Books in Common and um, we raised money to get brand new books for you all um, and all of these books in um, the stacks you see behind me are recommended by the American Library Association um, and a lot of them are award-winning titles they're really exciting stories and um, they are books that you'll be able to take home with you for free and there are books that you'll be able to trade with your friends. You'll be able to recommend to your friends if you really enjoyed reading them. And the purpose of the project is that you'll always have books in common with other people, um, especially in times where we are all kind of separated right now um, and we haven't seen each other in a while. So um, the purpose of the project is for you to pick out your own book um, because summer reading sometimes it can feel like an assignment. It can feel like something you have to do. Um, and I want you to be able to choose a title that looks really interesting to you. And I'm going to show you right now how you're going to choose your book um, and do that virtually. Okay. I'm going to present my screen now. My whole screen, if I can get it to work. It was a funny facial expression just then. Um, I did send out this link to this Google site to your parent or guardian. Um, and when you go on the site, I'm on a computer right now, you can also access this site on a mobile device. So I'm scrolling through, I see preview and choose your free book, submit the Google form. There are two steps really in this process. Um, there is a Google doc um, here embedded in the website itself that has all of the book covers that you could choose from. Um, if you do click on one of the book covers, so I want to see on the horizon, you see this bookmark pop up. It's a very small window. Um, on each page, I see the blurb in the first three pages of every book. Um, and that gives me a little bit of a preview, a little way to open up the book on a computer screen. When you're done and you think you've got your top three, um, I see this Google form embedded here. However, I also want you to notice that there are two mobile buttons here um, in case you're on a mobile device. So I'm going to go to book selection, mobile, and I just need your name, your grade, right? Six, seven, or eight. And I also need you to check these boxes for your book choice number one, number two, and number three. And then you're going to submit the form, okay? Um, it's more than likely that you'll get one of your choices um, for your book. And, um, and if you do that pretty quickly here, then, um, then I'll get your book to you. So I also wanna talk about next steps. How am I going to get um, the books to you? I have arranged with the Plymouth Town Common to um, use the Plymouth Town Common space. And I'm gonna be on the grass tomorrow, um, which is uh, July 15th. Um, and also on Sunday, which is July, um, 19th. So um, I'm going to be on the town common those days with these books and I'm going to personally give you the book that you have selected or one of your top three. Okay. Um, and if you could make one of those days, um, the time slots that I'll be there um, are from 730 to 930. Okay. The second time slot is from 1230 to 230. Okay. And the third time slot um, during the day is from four to six. Okay. I would have done four 30 to six 30. However, um, I couldn't be there past six. Okay. So there are those three time slots. And, um, if you want to drop by, I'll bring the book to, um, to you. If you want to walk by the town common, you can walk by. Um, and if your parent or guardian wants to drive and park in a spot, then I will come up to the car. Okay. So I hope to see you pick out a book soon. And I hope to give you a book soon. And I hope that this desk is empty by the end of the summer. Thank you so much, middle school. Um, this is Ms. Sambor. I teach sixth grade, if you don't know me. And I hope to see you very soon. Bye.